Welcome back. We are joined by Greg Angert, beer director for the neighborhood restaurant group, a James Beard Award nominee. The group includes Where We Are, Church Key, Downstairs is Birch and Barley, also new uh, across the street from the 930 Club, Hazel, which is doing well, awesome I hear. Place. Yes, indeed. What do we have on tap this week? So keeping it in the neighborhood restaurant group family, we have a beer brewed in part by Blue Jacket, um, a collaboration beer with Ocelot Brewing Company, mm -hmm. uh, a brewery that we love here, uh, Beer of the Week. So uh, I traveled out to Ocelot in Sterling, Virginia, right near Dulles Airport, and we crafted a double IPA. It's called Raised on Promises, and uh, it's uh, about 8% alcohol. Really, really wonderful, and it's super fresh right now, so definitely drink it if you see it. Mm. That is nice, This and in no way a complaint. Is that not as citrusy as some IPAs? Absolutely, right? yeah. Okay. It, there's some citrus there, but we actually oh, worked yeah. to make it not like a, a citrus bomb. So the hops we employed here were um, a little bit of Columbus just for bittering, um, but then Centennial, uh, which is the hop that kind of two, Bell's Two Hearted Ale is known for. So you get a little bit of orange there, a little citrus, um, a little bit of citra in the dry hopping, which shows some, some, uh, some citrus notes. But then Simcoe is a really a big hop that we're using here. And Simcoe is known for being like floral, piney, a little bit earthy, uh, grassy, herbaceous. Uh, and I think that's what's kind of coming through here. The other cool thing about using Simcoe this year is that we've got a really great crop of Simcoe. You know, hops are like grapes and they do change uh, from year to year. So this crop is wonderfully fresh and vibrant. Uh, it's not as dank as it used to be. I mean, you've done collaborations all over the globe. Isn't it nice, though, to sort of just down the road? Right, yeah. <laughs> Although it, it's Florida not. Florida or it, Belgium. Traffic or, can be held. Well, that's yes. true, right? Uh, it, Maybe it I'd is rather cool fly to, to Belgium, Belgium than sit on the highway out to Dulles. Yeah, and also, I mean, Ocelot is an awesome brewery. We love what they do. They're very similar to Blue Jacket in that they brew lots of different things. They concentrate on hoppy beers, barrel aged beers, and a lot of fruited sours. And it is close by. So uh, on the weekend, head out to Ocelot. You'll have a, a, a great time and drink really great fresh hop beers. So you can get this at your properties and out there. And at yeah. uh, other um, properties throughout okay. the, uh, the region. We did share okay. a little bit. So yeah, you'll see like, better beer bars. Isn't that nice of you? Yeah, right. <laughs> what would you pair it with? This to me is just like a classic IPA pairing. So you could do this with, you know, burgers, fries, steaks, ribs, uh, fried chicken, um, a great kind of just beer for, for summertime barbecues. As Run well. the gamut. I mean, even seafood, I think, would be oh, yeah, was, the briny. Be, and I'm glad you mentioned bit. that because one of the things we did for this beer that I think makes it special is that we uh, adjusted the hopping rate for the beer to make it kind of softer on the palate. It's not a bitter bomb at all. Nope. Um, it's very floral and, and bright. So I think based on that quality, it could go with some more delicate seafood flavors as well. Uh, Greg, thank you as always. Thank you. We're excited about the Nationals. The second half of the season is now underway, and uh, if they can put together a, uh, a second half like the first, they might be in good shape. Hope so. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly, and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.